Texas Health Director says some healthcare workers in the state could get a COVID vaccine by the middle of next month. Dr. Daniel Williams told state lawmakers if final testing goes well and the FDA approves, Missouri healthcare workers could be vaccinated starting by mid-December. A vaccine would be available to most Missourians in the spring, but Williams says now is not the time to let up on prevention. Well, we're not going to go out to eat. We're going to have 10 people over our house and none of us going to wear masks and none of us are going to social distance. And, and that's what we're seeing. And Williams says you may also want to rethink traditional family gatherings over the holidays. Governor Laura Kelly says the vaccine timeline is about the same in Kansas, but the main concern right now is hospital capacity. More than 70 people were hospitalized for COVID-19 over the weekend. The Kansas Health Secretary says hospitals are running into staffing problems. Healthcare workers are either sick or at home waiting for test results. He says getting your flu shot will help keep capacity down and ease the burden on staff. Competition for beds is getting steeper all the time and it doesn't make any difference if it's an emergency admission and influenza or COVID-19. They all uh, compete for the same beds, but influenza is something we can do something about through the influenza vaccine. Governor Kelly also plans to release new guidance for masks and testing next week. Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas says policy changes are coming due to an uptick in coronavirus cases and hospitalizations in the Kansas City Metro tonight. More than 600 new tests a day are now coming back positive in our nine county area. Hospitalizations are up to 160 a day. Open hospital beds are now down to 95 across the Metro. Mayor Lucas didn't specify what those policy changes might be.